Hi, this is Steve Graves from the CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This video tutorial is to help you download data from the U.S. Census, join that data to a GIS map. The tutorial has three parts. The first part is downloading the data from the U.S. Census Bureau. The second part is manipulating the data in Microsoft Excel so that the zip code or the FIPS code that is rendered is compatible with the codes for zip codes or FIP codes that are used in the GIS program. At the end, you will make a choropleth map of the number of hotels per zip code in uh, Los Angeles County. So to get started, just type in U.S. Census. And what you're looking for is the U.S. Census data page. Not So click on data, and it should take you here to data.census.gov. If you can't find it any other way, just type that in. What we want to do is go to advanced search. I would suggest we you, how you start this is to go to surveys and scroll down through the various surveys until you get to the annual business patterns for zip codes. That will radically narrow your search and um, go ahead and pick uh, 2018 and the codes that we want to use if you don't know it it's the you know just type in hotel but um, and it will come up over here should take a, a few seconds and and this is what we want is 72111 I'm gonna click back it's still remembering my two filters here so I'm scrolling down here under industry codes to 72 accommodation 721 7211 72111 and that's what we want and then the last thing we need to do is to establish the geography and this is what is kind of the headache about this because if you click nation it suggests that there are no results found or region you have to scroll down until you find the five digit zip code here's an interesting notion here it says there's no results found if you take off 2018 suddenly it appears click OK click search or select it click search and wow there it is what a pain in the rear end so this is the file that we're looking for it's county business and it has 18 zero zeros that's for 2018 ZBP zip code business patterns and this has basically all we want and at this point we're ready to download this file so click download select all uh, the check mark next to the file that you want to down download and click download selected download download now and this zipped file will appear in the lower left hand corner if you're using Microsoft Edge. Click open the file. Here it appears and this largest file is the one with the data that we want. So I'm going to double click on that and here it is. Okay so it did not filter what I asked it to filter. It gave me everything that I wanted and more. So uh, as we have done before, in order to process this data, we've got to run it through a couple of steps. The first is to delete the extra row. So I clicked on the row marker for two, select delete and then this time I'm going to click on employment sizes label click on the home tab click on sort and filter click filter 
and from the drop down menu on employment sizes label we're going to select all and then select all establishments so that that is the only rows of data that we will see from here what I'm going to do is click in the data press control A to copy all of the selected or filtered data press control C and then I'm going to press control N to create a whole new workbook and then press control V to paste in the data at this point we're doing pretty well we have the zip code and the zip code names we have something called GOID and we have the column here of establishments that we're going to map later what we need to you may notice that we have a column here that says null and we could grab the data the zip codes from here by copying this column over to B and eliminating the zip plus the space after the P and everything to the right of the the last digit in the zip code through a series of steps or perhaps the easier way to do that is to copy this GOID column A and paste it here and what we're going to do is to highlight the data that was control shift and down arrow and then we are going to split that column up into two columns and eliminate everything to the left of the first digit of the zip code which would be the letter S and everything to the left of it. There are a couple of ways of doing this. Data text to columns is one way to get there. The Jedi way to do that is to go to Alt A E, which brings up the text to columns wizard. So um, once you have that wizard one way or another, click next and nope, we want to click fixed width. We could have chosen delimited and the delimiter would be the letter S, but we're going to click fixed width because we can trust that the last five digits to the right of the line. And so I just clicked use my mouse to click between the S and the zero at the top um, and that will work just fine to do it that way we're going to click next we're going to tell the wizard to not import this first column and the second column we want that to come out as text and click finish and that's exactly what we want we're going to call this zips here at the top and we will highlight this and notice that we only have a count not a sum an average or anything of that sort which tells us that the data is functioning as text rather than functioning as numbers the other dead giveaway is that there is the leading zero in front of the zip code for Chicopee, Massachusetts. I'm going to save this as something that I can find um, quickly. I called it US Zip Hotels and saved it in the folder for this course. Click Save and then it is time to open ArcGIS. For students in my class you're looking for file in G, um, Graves 340 and join table zip hotel and join table zip hotel APRX okay so once you have the correct map file open we have to add our Excel data and it is probably in the box drive 
I saved mine in my OneDrive in the course folder. I open. It's going to ask, uh, prompt me for what sheet. There was only one sheet, sheet one, so click OK to add sheet one. And we may want to quickly uh, right click on that sheet and open it to make sure things look correct. This column here, zips, is going to be our join field that will join with the attribute table from the zip code map of Los Angeles County. And there's that column. It's a relatively simple join process. Click right on the zip code layer, select joins and relates, click add joins, the input field is zip and the, the join field is zips. We're going to click validate join and everything came back okay. And all we have to do at this point is click OK. We noticed that we'll notice that there are uh, the new columns beginning here, GOID, zips, names, etc., have joined. We have some null fields, of course, because not every zip code has a hotel in it. And so all we have to do at this point is to map, make a new map by establishments. Now, if you wanted to, you can come through here and delete uh, some of the columns you don't want. Or you can, at this point, export the features as a new output name. So we could call this LA Zips join hotel and then remove the fields that we don't want. So there's a bunch of these things that perhaps aren't of interest to us. The GOID, the name, whatever. I'm going to uh, remove some of these and so that I have only establishment, payroll, annual, and employees left, and click OK. It will create a brand new file that looks, well, similar to the old one, except it doesn't have all of um, the join fields, the fields uh, that were joined. So let's open this attribute table scroll to the right and we see just this data here that is joined and the last thing we want to do is to right click change the symbology from single symbol to graduated colors based not on object ID but the number of establishments which is then the number of hotels per zip code. If we want to, we can turn the old layer off. And there we have a zip code map of hotels by zip code in Los Angeles County. And that is the end of this video tutorial.